Welcome back yet again to Wreck and Roll. So we're going to hit you guys up with our very last spoiler card for you. Um, to be honest, we saved this one for last because we have a lot of questions. A lot of things about this card are currently unknown. Um, but we wanted to at least kind of put it out there and offer a little bit of speculation about what might be going on here. So the last card that we have available is called Combat Commence. It's a white pip card. It is a rare. Um... And it is also a utility. Um, now, interestingly enough, and this might be a clue, it's actually. A pin out my eye. <laughs> it does have that red up top, which other actions okay. don't have, right? Uh, that's because it's not an action, Brian. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, in general, red cards are Autobot specific. And purple cards are Decepticon yes. specific. Yes. So, except for the ones that aren't, that say like Null Ray or Starscream, doesn't go on Decepticons. It only can be played on other characters. But it's purple. It's purple. So maybe whatever. Okay, let's take a look at this card, and we'll get there. Right. So Got it's a utility. Em. It Got adds. Em. It adds plus one attack. Uh, so the first restriction on this is that you put it on Sentinels only. So. The big question that we have, that we have no idea what the answer is, is what is a sentinel? <laughs> we have that little symbol right there, which sort of, in some ways, looks like Shockwave's face. Sure. Kind of. I think if you if you look at it a certain way, it could also resemble a shield, maybe. It could also look like a, a walrus upside down. <laughs> upside down walrus. Okay, I, I see the upside down walrus. <laughs> Nailed it. You're welcome. <laughs> So, another possibility is it, it looks a little bit like Omega Supreme's head, sort of, kind of. Or like the generic, they call them, um, in some some continuities, they call them Sentinels, um, Guardian Robots, they're called too. It looks a little bit like that, possibly, as well. So, the, the rules text here says, when the upgraded character attacks, you may flip a Sentinel in your KO area from bot mode to alt mode if you do then flip it back to bot mode. So presumably, whatever a Sentinel is, is going to have abilities that trigger on either side. I believe Drew clarified when he talked on the TFW 2005 podcast about being able to flip cards in your KO zone um, that the abilities won't trigger, but maybe in this case, maybe whatever Sentinels are... I maybe... think he had to say that during that interview to not spoil something like this. And this directly contradicts what he said, because if you can't interact, then this card does nothing. Right, so whatever Sentinel does, presumably Or might... maybe only Sentinels can do something. Right. Yes. Um, I was also maybe thinking a little bit, um, like Sentinel, you look at kind of has like a protective type of, um, you know, connotation to it. So maybe it could be something similar to Sludge. Where when you flip into a certain mode, you can soak damage away from another character. It could be a possibility. Um, maybe you buff up another character to defense. Another possibility. It's when the upgraded character attacks, so it would have to be offense. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, another possibility is that Sentinels are one of the combiner groups. Like how we have Predacons as a subtype. Right, that will put... If they need to be in, was it alt mode or, yeah, bot mode to combine, that will help with that. But what's the point? You don't need to do it twice. Right. Or maybe Sentinels need to be in alt mode oh. to combine, maybe. But Ooh. I don't know. I'm not sure why you want to flip from one to the other in that type of situation. The only, right, in that situation. The only thing I can think of is there are there's something on both sides that have double triggers. It'll be like when you flip to alt mode, do something, and then it just allows you to do it again to do something else. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the idea, too, of a Sentinel is with this card, they're expecting them to be in the KO zone. Maybe whatever Sentinel does means that it's likely to get killed, which, again, maybe that soaking damage idea helps a little bit. In or that low regard. health combiner. Yeah. Yeah. Freshy thoughts. Brian and I are just talking away. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> So it only triggers when the upgraded character is attacking, mm -hmm. right? So the first thing that will come to my mind is that uh, sent that Sentinel, when it flipped to art mode, the first side, is going to give like maybe plus one attacks, plus two attacks. I don't know what it is. And it has to be in the KO zone, right? And then when you do that, you have to flip it back. So whatever it is, they want it to stay back in the, art, in the bot mode. 
in the K zone, K zone. And this thing is only going to affect during the attacks, not in any other shape or way. So it could be anything, but give your character bold one. Give your character plan bold one. one. Uh, plan one, anything. Put like one of your like scrap one of your card in your hand and add it into the flipping card. I don't know what uh, what it would be. It's like like right now your imagination can go pretty wild. Uh, but yeah, or maybe it's something that is related to both sentinels because you can only put that upgrade on a sentinel, right? So maybe it's like an um, effect that the sentinel is doing on on other sentinel, right? I'm not knowledgeable about the whole literature of the thing, but uh, we if, did some research on sentinels. There was there was limited information out there specific mm. to generation one there were other things for other continuities but i'd be surprised if they brought that in i think the red means it is autobot so it mm. could be an autobot team another possibility is that sentinel is kind of like a character then sentinels would only be autobots right right could be a character type you know i.e specialist or ranged so it's, i it's guess the question is Why is it a type it... or is it a team or is it both I would say it's probably a, uh, a type like spaceships and stuff. If you don't mind, Joe, I know this is going to interrupt the video. Mm -hmm. I'm Sorry, looking, folks. I don't, in charge. For some reason, I'm not. I don't remember every single card with an orange like boost on there. Having those two little, see the yes, two little yes, they things yes, there. They yes. do. And over here, you can see there's something uh, on blue. So offense and defense. French control me. Yes. Oops. Let go. Gonna bring up like reckless charge, maybe. No, all right, control me. So, yeah, th this has something, even if it's utility. All I think all the upgrade cards have those two little arrows, and then defense also has like this blue thing going on. Okay, so mm. that's all. And there's like nothing for utility. Okay, yeah, that, must, that might just be a template, like, nothing. yeah, yeah, that's nothing important. Okay, yeah, well. I don't know. I think as of right now, we have no idea what Sentinels do. We will maybe update this video. Um, when do we want to know bets? what Sentinels are? Bets. Uh, no. Bets on if Sentinels is actually a combiners. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll throw it out to you guys out there. Leave a comment. What do you guys think a Sentinel is? What could it be? What is that icon supposed to be? Because currently we are clueless, mystified. That art though is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I wonder who is the behind them. Uh, so behind them on the left is Superion, who is the aerial bot combiner. Foreshadowing? Could be. We also have front and center behind Optimus Prime. We do have um, Victorion Control. is that combiner name which is a group of female Autobots who turn into the Combiner. She's made up of two helicopters, which are the arms you guys can see there. The legs are two cars. The body is a fire truck. And then there's also like a motorcycle that becomes kind of like an armor, like plating in front type thing. And so, no, no, that Defensor? Uh, Same type of well, no, layout? Ambulance, motorcycle, is, streetwise? And... Defensor is only five. So she's... Uh, I'm saying the fire truck is in the middle. I get you. So she was a, I think she was one of the fan created like combiner characters. Oh. Like they, they had like kind of votes for what certain things would be. <laughs> and that's what we came up with. Um, her team, they're called Torchbearers. I initially thought maybe Sentinels could be the name for um, the ones that make up her because they don't have like a protect a bot type thing. But um, they call her, they call the individual members, I believe, Torchbearers, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. I don't think they're gonna template that you know. torchbearer underneath the. Uh... That would kind of be long. Yeah. You're right, actually. That is a good point. Maybe that's maybe. Um, Gotta be something short and simple. But Sentinel kind of also fits. Like the idea is that they're they're protectors. So maybe that's them just kind of conserving space on top of the character card. Instead of saying to fit torchbearers, they say sentinels. Sentinels are actually this, right? Like, I pardon my English. But... Well, actually, hold on. So one more thought here. Can we look at... <laughs> can we look at the symbol there again? And then look at her helmet, like, go up a little bit? Maybe it's got, like, the... It looks like she has two kind of swept back um, horns on the back of her helmet there. Maybe. Maybe. Friends, control me again. Is that a key? 
A keyhole? No. Okay. Those look like the Gate of Barad duel. Okay, wrong, wrong. Uh, wrong <laughs> franchise? I'm sorry. <laughs> wrong everything. So yeah, um, right there, we have no idea. <laughs> so, speculate away. Get Enjoy. Correct. <laughs> <laughs>